of the scores. I mean, I liked it better before they recalculated, but I think we're in a really good spot. We only have to make up three points, so that's easy. I mean, I'm happy with it. Feel really good. We're close. We're not out of the running, let's put it that way. I am Liz Johnston. I have been grooming, uh, well, to, since 2005, so you do the math, right? Because <laughs> I started out showing dogs when I was 12, and I've been breeding collies, um, well, as long as I can remember. I, I just did junior showmanship when I was like 12, 15 years old. Next thing you know, it's just like, oh, now I'm competing more, and then I'm winning, and then we're starting, oh, well, what if we do more work together? We started doing some videos and, and things like that, and just, it just grew from there. It's just been exponential since. So, but it's been 10, 12 years. So almost as long as I've been grooming, I have known Whitman's. Casualty. And <laughs> <laughs> down Ah, of course she no. did. <laughs> no, it's just the after effect. <laughs> what keeps the love of the grooming up? I mean, some days I wonder. <laughs> It's, it's a lot of hard work, it really is, but you know, you put in the work, you put in that dedication, and for me, when I'm in the ring, like I've always been a competitive person, like I am, like I enjoy the competitive, I enjoy the adrenaline, but I also enjoyed that challenge to myself. Groomball, I mean, it, it was, it started out as like, hey, why don't we do this kind of fun thing on our drive home from uh, Palmetto, and it kind of turned into, oh, she, oh, okay, let's actually do this. Let's, let's find the dogs, let's find the people. And we started collecting the people together. And a couple weeks ahead of time, we were all lined up. We had all the people, we had all the dogs. You know, the last person fit into the puzzle, that was actually Susan. It was like, great, Susan's on board. We got all of our team together. And then I think I got the call about three days before we were to leave from Jacob. And he got in a car accident totaled his car, completely ruined his shoulder. He actually ended up getting rotator cuff surgery. And we're like, Jacob's out. Like he was, you know, he's so extremely talented and we were so excited to have him on the team. Um, but then also he was bringing some of his dogs. So now it's like one or two days before the event, I have to find two dogs and a groomer. And <laughs> it's just like, oh my goodness, how do I even do this? Um, so we managed to, you know, just last minute, you know, grab some people together. And I ended up having, I found like a black Russian last minute. Jordan ended up doing my doodlington. And it all just fell together at the last possible second, but it worked. So it's just, it just shows, you know, we work as a team together. You know, it's, hey, we lost this. Hey, you call this person, you call this person. Who do you know? Who do you know? And between the group of us, we, we just, we found the dogs, we found the people and um, we just supported each other. And it's, it, it worked out <laughs> somehow by the skin of our teeth. Super excited about the first heat. We're in second place. We're still in it. Um, I know that they can get it done, that we can get into first. Hi, my name is Stephanie Palmer. I'm from Lima, Ohio, and I've been grooming for 10 years. I'm Kat Early. I live in Tallahassee, Florida, but I'm originally from Canada. I've been grooming for about eight years now, and I've been competing for five. My name is Jordan Confer. Um, I am from Madison, Wisconsin, and I've been grooming for about 12 years now. I was really happy with it. Um, she's an old dog, hasn't been in a grooming competition, and several years. Uh, she was actually pulled out of retirement for this competition. Um, a little rusty, but she's old. She's allowed to be. I was really happy with the outcome. I'm actually very proud today. Um, I've never touched this dog before. I'm so used to grooming my own dogs. Uh, it's nice to be able to groom someone else's dogs and really perfect the craft. We're all doing really well. We're all placing pretty high, so I hope we win. <laughs> uh, the Wheaton that I did was kind of a last minute fill in for some other stuff and it didn't have, it wasn't really in condition and I was really stressed out about it and it was sort of just a whatever, I'll do my best. Um, so to win with it was really, really awesome. Honestly, really cool. After heat one and heat two, in the protein. In third place, as of now, is Team Pet Store Direct. In second place is Whitman's Platinum Team. 
I like a point. I like a point. I feel pretty amazing about that. First place from both judges. Because no one did that last time. So, I'm pretty good with that. I was pretty happy with that. Poodle. Uh, currently, we are down by one point, and Catherine is our closer. I'm feeling pretty good about it. She's going to. She's gonna kick ass. I'm Katherine Dixon. I'm from Westminster, Maryland, and I've been grooming for 15 years. I love this competition. I think it's a lot of fun, and it gives us all a chance to really evaluate our skills and what our assets are for the team. And then it also gives us a chance to watch each other do their best at what they're already good at. So we all get to learn from each other while we're going through this day-long competition. Um, so it's one that I look forward to, and I was really excited to do this with some of my very good friends. Um, I like the outcome. I think we all did great work. Um, I think we all came in with a lot of work to do on our dogs, and so what we ended up with was excellent. So, so considering that we really did just pull the team together last minute, had some last minute dogs and, you know, we're not fully prepared. Like, you know, I go into a competition and I'm planning it out weeks ahead of time. I'm mentally prepared for what I'm doing, my prep times, when I need to do it, who, you know, what dog needs to go in what order and everything just went out the window. So for the fact that we pulled that together last minute, um, I mean, the placement doesn't, you know, obviously we wanted to win the whole thing, obviously, but the talent on the team that won is I mean, beyond, beyond compare a little bit. Um, so, you know, the experience level that they, that team has competing, you know, that it was their second year doing it. Most of my team had not done this before. We did not know what to expect. Um, but I was just really proud of the whole team, just working together and prepping dogs together and in there coaching each other. And I just really think that we, we brought that team aspect to what the Groom Bowl is supposed to be. I am just at a loss of words of how it went today. The amount of sheer talent that was out there was absolutely amazing. There were so many obstacles to overcome. One of our teammates got in a car accident right before this. We brought someone else in. Dogs got sick. We had to grab other dogs. Putting everything together at the last minute and to pull off a win. And champions is the Whitman's Diamonds team. And a reserve, like that's just absolutely amazing. I couldn't have picked a better group of people to work with. Their friendship, they've worked with us, they work in the booth, they help other people, we always have each other's back. They are literally the best group of people to work with and I couldn't ask for anyone better to actually call my friend.